Well, welcome to House Call. I'm Amy Cooper, and I'm here with Dr. Rick Wodge and the star of the program, Dr. Charles Scott. Good morning, Dr. Scott. Well, good Scott. morning. Good it's morning. a blessing to be here again. What are we going to be talking about today? Well, we're going to talk about a very serious problem. It's called neuropathy. Neuropathy is basically damage to the nervous system. And it can be uh, damage to, for example, the nerves in your hands and feet. And so you may present with something like carpal tunnel syndrome. It may be damage to, and the most common is damage to the nerves in the feet and legs. Well, where does it come from? Well, there's several causes, and the primary cause in the United States is diabetes. That's essentially the number one cause. And diabetes is one of those very common diseases anymore. It's becoming more and more common. They estimate that there's probably going to be another six million people diagnosed pretty much every year. Really? In, in the United States. That's a scary number. It's, it is scary. And what's even scarier is the fact that adult onset diabetes usually occurred around the age of 50 or later. Now, they have to be very careful. Most physicians no longer use the term onset adult diabetes because instead of at 50 years of age, it's showing up at 9 and 10 years of age. Now, why is that? Is that dietary? Oh, yes, absolutely, because of our lifestyle and our diet. Lack of exercise and too much sugar. Exactly. Yes. Now, is that also something that's inherited? Oh, yeah. Di diabetes definitely runs in families, absolutely. So you can see that multiplying then. Yes. So, yep. just... But there are other causes of neuropathy. Many times individuals will come to me specifically for treatment of their neuropathy. And one of the first things I ask them is, how long have you had diabetes? And there are a number of patients who have neuropathy who don't have diabetes at all. So there's other causes besides diabetes. Well, okay, I guess the first question would be is, what kind of symptoms are they suffering from? Well, if they're having uh, neuropathy, of the legs and feet or the arms and hands, they're going to have things like numbness, tingling. That's the most common onset. If, you, if you're starting to develop like pins and needles sensation into your hands and feet, then that, that's a sign of neuropathy. Sometimes you'll see muscle wasting in these individuals. So that if, for example, and this happened to my father-in-law, okay? His thigh, one of his thighs went from this to about half of its size, muscle wasting, where the nerves to the muscles were so damaged, the muscle literally started dying little by little. So if you've noticed that uh, the muscles in your legs, for example, seem to be shrinking, they're just not as, as stout as they were, that, that's a major symptom of neuropathy. That's, isn't that like a normal part of aging anyway? Well, to some extent. We're talking about uh, uh, a pretty significant loss of muscle mass in, in, in the legs. In a short period of time. In a short time. period of time. And what's different is that it may only affect one leg. If there's only nerve damage on that particular side of the body going into that leg, then like my father-in-law, it was only one leg, one thigh that started shrinking. So what is causing the nerve damage? Well, in his, it was uh, primarily uh, severe osteoarthritis from the spine that was impinging on the nerve. This is going to tie directly to chiropractic then. It, it does. It ties directly to chiropractic, but it ties in much, much more than just chiropractic. And as we go through and develop the, the signs and symptoms of neuropathy. What is so amazing, what I found so amazing, is that most of these patients have been under the care of chiropractors, medical doctors who are specialists in nerve disorders, neurologists, neurosurgeons. So they've already had chiropractic treatment. They've already had physical therapy extensively. They've been to, uh, if the pain is bad enough, they're going to pain management doctors, and they're being put on narcotic medication. Some of them are having injections done, and it may give them a little bit of relief, 
but it doesn't address the whole problem. And some of these patients, as we'll see um, in, a, in another segment, some of them have had this problem for five years or more. Now, neuropathy, how long has it been around that it's been, people have been diagnosed with now what we're calling neuropathy? Well, I think we've, we're seeing a whole lot more probably in the last 20 years or so. So that because sounds very much food related. Well, it's years. much more than just, than just food. The things that we know, for example, just recently in the last, oh, maybe five years to eight years, a big cause of neuropathy is statin drugs. You know, what is that? The statin drugs, those are the drugs that you see millions and millions of dollars being uh, run on TV stations, commercials for drugs to lower your cholesterol, like Lipitor. Restore. These are statin drugs. If you enjoyed this clip, please feel free to check out the full version in the link located in the description panel below. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can also connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. As always, help yourself to the diverse array of teachings located on this YouTube channel or on our website at glc.us.com.